I didn't mean to hurt you. Welcome back to the channel for another tutorial. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can stream to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, completely for free, no computer, no capture card, you don't even need a microphone because you're gonna be using the microphone on your Android or your iOS device. And just to put the icing on the cake, this app I'm about to show you, you'll also be able to add your alerts, your chat, and even a face cam. So what app am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about the Starscape Creator Studio application. You can download this on the Google Play Store as well as the iOS App Store on your compatible Android or iOS device. Once you have the Starscape app downloaded on your device, go ahead and launch it. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to are the three tabs at the bottom. The first one is gonna be Camera Live that you'll be on. And this is essentially where you can just add some different filters to your face. Maybe Squid Game has just entered the chat. But you know, Bat Guy is kind of cool too though. Just some fun face filters to play around with if you plan on just streaming your face. Now the thing that most of you guys probably care about is streaming the contents of your stream, such as a game. So to do that, you wanna go to the left option, which is Screen Live, and after you do that, go ahead and select Ready, and Starscape will ask you to log in with either your Facebook, YouTube, Twitch account, or even using a custom stream key to stream to other platforms. Now for me, you know I like to roll here on YouTube, so I just connected my YouTube account here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and select that. We'll even do a public stream, why not? Now we can get into the settings for how we're gonna configure our live stream. So the first option we see here is the game that we're streaming. So if we go ahead and select that, if you're on Android, I found that this works very well where you can select your game that you have installed on your device. And when you go live, that game that you selected to play within the Starscape app will pop up on your device to start playing right away. If you're on iOS, this feature may not work for you like it doesn't for me, as I don't see any of my installed games listed out here. So. If that's the case, it's just gonna continue to say other games and you can just launch your game manually. But the next step here is a stream title, so you can go ahead and name that whatever you like. You can add a custom stream description as well. And then the first tab under that are your basic settings. And this is where you can set your resolution, your bitrate, and your FPS. A good rule of thumb when it comes to the bitrate, depending on your internet upload speed, I would keep it between four megabits per second and eight megabits per second. You really don't need to go any higher than that. But when in doubt, just keep it on auto. Next we have our advanced settings, and this is where the fun begins, people, because if you stay within the basic style type, this is where you can set the theme of your stream. So you can go ahead, check them out, see which one works for you, and if you find one that you like, go ahead and stick with it. And below that, you can add in your social media info. That can be your Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook. It'll be a label so people know where to go follow you. You can add in a dynamic text field for the latest subscriber to your channel. You can also add in a streamer message, which is just a message that you can customize that'll be overlaid on top of your screen for your viewers to see. And as a fourth option, you can enable the chat so people can see what they're typing up on the stream. Who doesn't love that, man? All four of these features that Starscape has just makes your stream so much more engaging. But what if you wanna take it up a notch and you wanna have a fully customizable stream? Well, you can do that by going into the advanced style option. And within here, you can set your screen size the way that you want it to be. And if you're comfortable with that spot, you can go ahead and select the lock option, which keeps it in the place. Next, you can go to the background tab and this is where you can select the different color background that you might want. If you're not feeling the colors that they're offering here, then you can go ahead and add your own customized photo as a background. Now, another thing here, guys, to add elements on top of your gameplay screen is to go ahead and select the plus button on the far right-hand side, and this is where you can add text as an overlay. You can even add an image in JPEG, PNG, or GIF format. So if you have an animated banner or a face cam that you've converted into a GIF, well, you can add that into the Starscape app for an overlay. Lastly, you have the HTML overlay, which is where you can add in those links to stream elements for those customized overlays, pop-up alerts. You can add all those cool streamer features just by using an HTML overlay and adding the link into this app. Once you're happy with your overlay settings, you can go ahead and save those. And then the next setting would be the privacy mode image. And you can upload any image from your phone that you'd want your viewers to see while you're hiding your gameplay screen. 
Another image you can upload is the thumbnail, which will apply to people who are streaming to YouTube. But if you go into this option, this is where you can upload a custom thumbnail from your phone or that maybe you even made on your phone to the Starscape app so that it can push it to YouTube. Once you have all those settings good to go, you can go ahead and select next. And if you're on Android, it just starts streaming automatically. But if you're on iOS, you'll see that the Starscape app is selected for a broadcast. If you want your commentary microphone, make sure you select that. It'll highlight in red and then just click above that to start your broadcast. Once you're live within the Starscape app, you can control your mic function, your volume, your privacy toggle screen off and on, as well as your chat notification settings. So if you turn this feature on, you can have your comments and your subscriber notifications appear as a banner or a picture in picture within your device. And this is awesome because you're gonna be able to interact with your viewers in real time with what they're saying in the chat. If you prefer not to have your chat messages overlaid on top of your gameplay, then you can always go back to the Starscape app and read all of your recent chat messages directly from the app. Now, for those of you that are live on an Android device, a secret feature you're gonna wanna know about is by pressing the circle icon while you're live, you can go ahead and select the camera option. And this is what will enable your face cam on your streams. Holy, look at this, guys. You can even press the settings and then, you know, play around with the buttons here a little bit. It's a, it's a little bit wonky, I, I will admit, but it, it does work. See, I can even put myself into the corner and now I can play my game while simultaneously having my face cam on the stream. I gotta say, I am very impressed with the Starscape Creator Studio app. I don't think it has as much attention as it should, especially with all the features that it offers from the face cam to the chat messages. It's just so good and it's perfect for mobile gaming streamers. Anyways, thank you guys so much for staying to the very end of the video. If you came to enjoy it, make sure you hit it with a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Leave any comments that you might have, questions, you know the deal down below. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.